Hello. So uh, I figured I would show my small game I made in the Shayla Games uh, VR Jam. And uh, <laughs> I was quite nervous before getting there because I've never used Unity before. Um, people on Twitter told me that, oh, sure, fine, we'll help you out. So thank you, DK, for, for giving me pointers and help to actually do something. Um, but <laughs> I figured I would show this game because it's probably not... It's a very short experience. It's, it was made in like 36 hours or something. And it's not very complicated and it's not using much uh, of any assets. It's just primitives, pretty much. Uh, I was questioned about my texture choice and my sound choice, but you'll, you'll, you'll see soon enough. So I, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll just put it up here and I'll take off my glasses and let's see. So this is how it looks. And I sure hope we can, like, have some kind of one-time safety screen at one point. So, yeah. Let's put this on. Well, for this game, you need kind of a large, large tracking space. So I'm actually, my, my DK2 camera is up, up close to the ceiling and I'm standing a ways off from my desk. Uh, you can sit down to do this as well. It's not, not that strange. Uh, I can press B to restart uh, or reset the camera. Uh, so there's a bit of setup text and control instructions and just general instructions and credits and and backstory even um, yeah you'll have to read that yourself but so uh, I'm using the the oculus audio SDK as well uh, I was told that it's not not the best between all the SDKs but um, it was easily accessible when I used it so so these gems they give noise they make it they make a sound and a particle effect and inside the game you're supposed to hit them with your face. So let's see, I will, I will back up to here and I'll hit the start button. So yeah, you just locate them by sound and they're actually hidden in the cubes. So if, if whoop, and if, you're them, if they are behind you, you have to back up because they are limited by the current hardware. So as you can see, if I back up now, I hide it. That's why we need to use the sound to locate it. So all these cubes are actually reactive to where the headset is in space. So everything like, if you look at the cube in front of me, it changes color. That's because color is relative to, to the headset. That's why I have a rainbow of colors around me. And there is a floor, and if I can get far enough, oh, sorry camera, you can see there's a wall there, and there's a wall there, so it's not infinite. And that's the game. I got 13 if even if messing around. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And it was very fun to make something, actually, and I hope that I will get time to make more things, uh, perhaps a bit more, more interesting, let's see. But yes, this was a, a, a complete walkthrough of the entire game. Uh, you can download it on the itch.io page. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description. Thanks for watching. And I'll try to find... Button.